This chocolate cake is one of the most tender chocolate cakes I have ever made. I made one similar to it when I was in high school and everyone just loved it. Uh, I'm going to put start out with one and a half cups of just all-purpose flour. Three-fourths cup of cocoa. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And I know that sounds like a lot. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One and a half. And one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. That makes that real easy to remember, doesn't it? Okay. And then I'm just going to whisk that around a little bit. And add one full cup, actually it's one and a half cups of granulated sugar. That much sugar kind of offsets the amount of salt that was put into the cake. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to add four egg whites. I have not beat those, just four egg whites in there. One cup of milk. One half cup of applesauce. And this makes it really uh, moist. The applesauce makes moisture. And one teaspoon of almond extract. And we're going to mix that up a little. And then I'm going to slowly add one cup of boiling water. Do not ask me what the boiling water does, but I know it is one of the most tender cakes. And when you see this, you think, oh, I've left out something because it is so thin. The batter is very thin. But that is just the way it's supposed to be. Make sure that it was all out of the bottom. You don't want to beat this a whole lot. You want to just beat it until it's well uh, mixed together. And that's why I then checked to make sure all of the flour and everything was mixed up out of the bottom. Now I'm going to set my uh, oven at uh, 325 and this will bake for anywhere between 50 and 60 minutes. It goes in a spring form pan and we're going to spray that with a uh, tasteless type of uh, oil and we're going to use olive oil. That's our go-to one. I'll spray it with olive oil, put that in, bake it for 55 to 60 minutes. Now as you can see this is thin. So we have set our spring form pan on a cookie sheet and that will go in the oven. We're going to then take our mini chocolate chip and we're going to take just about half a cup and sprinkle it around on top of the cake 
We didn't want it on the bottom because it would then stick to the bottom and we want it to come out good. All right. 55 to 60 minutes. Okay. It has been exactly 60 minutes. This has been in for one full hour. Looks like it's ready. I'm gonna slip that out off of there. And let that sit right on that and kind of cool down a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. We'll make the whipping cream and the raspberry sauce for it once this has cooled completely. and clear all we have to do is set and let it wet let it cool okay on the top of our cake we're going to put just a little raspberry sauce we're going to take one eighth of a cup of granulated sugar and I need just enough lemon to kind of give it a little brightness and I'm just going to squeeze the juice out of one lemon well, it looks like add one seed, which I'll take out. I'm sure that would be tasty with a couple of seeds in there, but sure as I did, Michael would be the one that got them, and he would remind me about seeds and stuff like that in your food. He's pretty particular. Okay, and I'm going to kind of stir that up just a little bit. Lemon juice in itself will set up. And to that, I have a small, uh, this is probably about, oh, maybe a little over eight ounces of fresh red raspberries. I took out nine because I want to decorate on the top. I'm just going to put those in that pan, turn the heat on a medium, and kind of let those cook, and then I'm going to squash that down in there, kind of stir them up, get them all nice and juicy, and then I'll strain out any seeds that it might have. And this is a topping for our cake. It is surprising how much juice actually comes out of those berries. I'm going to pour that into a strainer. And then I'm going to make sure that I get every little ounce of that raspberry sauce that's there. I've got all the seeds out of it. I'm gonna get off that good stuff off the bottom. Set that aside. And then I'm gonna set this over here and let it cool. And as it cools, it's gonna thicken up slightly. All right. Okay, our cake has cooled completely. I'm gonna let that, and it's kind of, it has pulled away from this otherwise I would have to go around it and kind of break it loose before I opened it up but that pulled away really nice the baking gods must be with me today all right I'm going to have to cut this off of the, the pan I'm just going to put my knife right in there and slowly go around all the way. Just be gentle. You'll get it all the way around it. It just takes a little time. 
and hopefully you can hang on to it. Okay. Then we're going to lift that up and set it on our cake plate. When I cut my cake, and I'm not a very good cake cutter, I can tell you that right now, I try to go right across the center in one way. Now I can tell you this is a very moist cake. And the thinner the knife you use, better off you're going to be. So I've, I've changed knives. I've got one that is much thinner there. You know, it would have been uh, kind of a lot better if you wouldn't have been uh, eating all the crumbs off the knife in between the uh, slices there. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> on my plate. Okay. Take a little bit of my raspberry and just let it drip down over the top of my cake. A couple of tablespoonful of all you need. And I'm cheating. I'm going to use some whipped cream in it. <laughs> but having, I can't get it open. <laughs> we got to take off the uh, yeah top first. There you go. I guess I just had too much cake <laughs> on my hands. Add a little cake. Add a little whipped topping. And you know me. There's always one more something you can do. I'm going to take this potato peeler and just slice some nice pieces of, this is chocolate candy bar. I'm not supposed to eat them, so I'm just going to decorate with it. A few little slices on the top, just to make it pretty. And then we're going to put three nice big raspberries right up there. All right, there we go. Well, I've only got two more to do. 